All right, guys, we got another one here in the garage. We got the Lincoln MKX back in the garage. Finally, this piece showed up, steady bearing. Show you why I'm replacing this. That part is located on the drive shaft here. That little guy right there, you can see that it's loose and it's wobbling right there. This is why we're changing this. Stay tuned, let's go. All right, so the tools you need, quickly show you guys here, and I'll explain. We're gonna put a marker on that because we're gonna mark before we take out the drive shaft. We have to put it back exactly which angle and which side it goes. Uh, you need 13 mil socket and the 15 for the bolts right here. The 13 one is for the drive shaft. Pull bolts on the front and pull bolts on the back. And then we're gonna be the flex joint with the extension the bigger the longer extension is the better and then a ratchet half inch drive a flex strong arm with a half inch drive and then uh, some kind of electric impact to make the job quicker and faster all right so let's go down and i'll show you one at the back all right so i spray something to train fluid already on those four bolts it's easy to come out and this is the bolts right here for the 15 mil and then up to the front. All right, guys, so we're gonna put an extension with a flex joint and a 13 mil socket on here. Let's start taking out this uh, easy one right here. Let's see if they will come out. And then we're gonna use the strong arm with a long reverage because we're gonna crack this thing open. All right, so it's loose. There's not much of a power, so we're just gonna use a impact to zip them off. You don't need to crack them out. All right, we're just gonna use this ratchet to uh, crack this bolt loose. Way easy. You go other side, that one's good. All right, we're gonna get a 13 mil deep socket on this one. This is the third bolt. There you go. That one's loose. And then the last one is up here. Way up to the top. There you go. All right. All the bolts are loose. I think we're just going to use our hands to get this thing out. It's not that bad. So make sure to put a lock tight when you install this bolts back in there all right guys so all the four bolts are are gone so next step we're gonna put a mark on the yoke here put a, a line and then a line on the drive shaft so that when we install them back together that's the way we want and uh some of this drive shaft they're all pre-balanced so we had to bring it back where it was from before so that if something happened, there's no vibration and stuff like that when we go drive this vehicle out. All right, let's go to the back. There she is. We'll put a mark on this as well, just in case. So this will come out and then this will stay on the vehicle, okay? All right, so 30 mil deep socket on this one. So you can see that this drive shaft spin. All right, guys, we're gonna come in on a different approach here. We're gonna use this uh, extension with the uh, with the impact because this thing spin when I use a ratchet. So it's gonna go in like that. all right so here we go guys all the bolts are gone super loose use the impact because you can see on my right hand rear tire is up and when i spin this drive shaft and the tire on the right spin as well and then now we're going to be working the last step is on the center support bearing right here this nut right here and this one over here is a 15 mil so we're going to use the impact again with the 15 mil all right so before you 
take the, the last nut out we need to support this uh, drive shaft up okay so with your other hand like this make sure bring it up and then the your left hand will hold the tool you get the extension on your socket here so it's longer exhaust two pipe and drive it out this drive shaft slowly go down look how bad that is oh my god that's ridiculous guys look at this we're always gonna rest it like that for a bit on the exhaust and then we'll go to the back I'm gonna quickly show you how to uh, get this yoke out of the differential um you could use like a flat screwdriver or a really long strong driver just put it on that hole right here and then you just spray it out make sure you get the drive shaft support with your other hand okay, this thing will come out quick okay there you go see how it's gonna push it out there we go because there's a lip right here on the drive shaft there's a lip it sits on that yoke right here so it sits right down here so that's how you had to pry it out all right so at this part right here the mic died on me so i had to record over the video so you can see the whole thing is out drive shaft right there u joints all together you have to buy this whole thing from the dealer if you want to get the whole piece so now it's time to take out the center support bearing i use this chisel to top it out to separate the two pieces out so just keep hitting it so after you hit it you just keep spinning the shaft so make it even and I use this bigger rod now so it's easy to uh, split this shaft in two pieces together for better impact so I use this another tool uh, I don't know if this is the right tool cold chisel it's a lot heavy duty a lot bigger I got that spade type edge for a good grip and you can see the tread is coming out it works way better than the other two that I was using and there you go all right guys check it out finally lots of beating and beating so I put that wedge right here and same thing on the other side right there you see the mark finally the one piece shaft is a two piece shaft now all right so when we put this back together we're gonna put anti seize on each of those threads the internal and external all right so here is that old support steady bearing some people said support because it supports the, the drive shaft so we're gonna have to pull this thing out of here it's still pressed right in there there's the bearing you can see it's all seized up in there i'm just gonna pull this out this rubber piece right here don't need this easy for us to work all right there we go some people will do a puller and let's uh, give this a try uh, i'm gonna pull this bearing out i'm kind of trim that rubber piece out first there's a old rubber right there trim it out so i could put this uh claw puller right here this is about a three inch size puller we're gonna pull this bearing out i was gonna set this up quick here put that in like that make sure it goes right in the bearing there on the metal piece goes in there all right that looks good and then we're just gonna use a what is this a 14 mil i'll use a 14 mil and we'll pull this thing out there we go look at that 
She's out.